So in this question, they want us to find angle F and angle F, we cannot find it right away because in this triangle, we have side angle side. And we have when we have this situation, as we mentioned earlier, we have to use the cosine law. So use the cosine law when you have side, 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 or side, angle, side. And the angle has to be between the two sides. So here you see the angles between the two sides. So we have to use the cosine law to find this piece right here, D. Once we find out what D is, then we could go ahead and use the sine law to find what angle F is. So therefore, I'm going to find D. So here I'm going to go D squared. If I'm finding D, I'm going to start off with D squared equals. You know, this law, even though you're using different letters, but it's the same thing. Um, so, you know, if you go D squared, then you got to sub in these two numbers for B and C kind of thing. So you're just going to go 5.5 squared plus 4.6 squared minus 2 times 5.5 times 4.6 times cos 70 degrees. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to plug that in, the, in my calculator. That gives me D squared to equal 34.1. And therefore, D will be the square root of 34.1. Second square root, second answer is 5.8. So I'm just going to stick to one decimal right now. D equals 5.8. So now, if this is 5.8, then I could go ahead and use the sine law to find out angle F. So if I want to find angle F, then I should start with sine F equal over, sorry, um, sine F over 5.5, um, because that's the side that's opposite to angle F, equals sine 70. And the side opposite to angle 70 is 5.8. Now just cross multiply the 5.5 there. So you have sine F equals 5.5 sine 70 over 5.8. Okay, 5.5 sine 70 divided by 5.8 equals Sorry, that's 0.89. And therefore, angle F, you just go second function, sine of 0.89, and that would give us 63 degrees. So that's angle F. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.